Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with a WBZ News update. A deadly crash on the expressway in Boston. Surveillance video shows an SUV speeding across an overpass and hitting the barrier, then falling 40 feet to the ramp below. And despite other drivers quickly calling for help, the person behind the wheel did not survive. Several ramps were shut down for much of the day as crews cleaned up. Investigators say the driver was the only person in the SUV. They're still working to figure out what caused that crash. Well, thieves posing as Amazon drivers to steal packages. Police and Gardner now warning residents to be on the lookout. One homeowner tells WBZ a man in an Amazon vest walked up to his house with a package, but then turned around and stole it. He says when he called police, they told him other people had reported the same thing. Amazon says it's looking into these reports. It says it'll work with law enforcement to help as much as possible. And a setback for plans to reopen Brockton Hospital after a fire shut it down last year. This was supposed to reopen this month, but Signature Healthcare, which opens the hospital, says problems with the HVAC system have been discovered and it needs to be updated before reopening. Signature did not give a new timeline for when Brockton Hospital will be back in business. All right, time now for a check of your next weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Alyssa Andrews. Hey there, good morning. We're in a next weather alert for today, and that's due to some thunderstorm activity we're expecting into the second half of this Thursday, starting off the day with just light rain showers, isolated heavy downpours, and even some stronger winds are possible threats with this storm system that'll be passing through. Looking at the timing of this, we will see mostly cloudy skies throughout the day, light scattered showers for the first couple of hours here. And then we will see more thunderstorm activity as the day goes on. These showers will start to organize a bit better. And then at times we'll catch a break here, seeing even some sunshine trying to peek through those clouds, which will actually help to enhance the storm environment for later on in the day. By about three o'clock here, that's when we probably will see the most sunshine taking place, and that'll get us ready for some stronger storms into the later afternoon hours and early evening. That's when we could get some of those stronger storms moving through. Looking at our seven day forecast, here temperatures will be remaining in the mid 70s through the weekend and an unsettled weather pattern through Sunday, but it shouldn't be a total washout. We'll actually get to some drier weather as we head into Monday of next week with temperatures back into the low 70s. Chris. All right. Thanks, Alyssa. This has been a WBZ News update. I'm Chris Tanaka. Have a great day.